Hey, what's up, y'all? I was popping this D Boss Rex in this vid by Jamari. This is the biggest joke in rap is done. Uh, apparently this has to do with some bootleg versions of Drake and Dirk. I don't know what the hell's going on, but sure, we're about to see. Uh, let's watch. So I'm sure most of you remember those two clowns that were running around impersonating Drake and Little Dirk. I do These not. guys would go into the, the Dirk mall causing seen. a commotion, faking FaceTimes with Drake, and in general just exhibiting a lot of very... This one looks nothing like Drake, though. Let's stop fucking playing. Let's be for real. You look nothing like him. Corny behavior. Are we still dropping? Yes, sir. All right, bros. Big OVO things. You already know. Yo, so you see Nobody believed. God did. Oh, my God. Drake did. But I will say, it did this seem like corny. Drake was okay with and even laughing at fake Drake, while Lil Durk completely embraced his lookalike who chose wow. to go by the name Perkyo. It was almost like watching a high school football Perky. team letting the special needs kid score a touchdown. Only the problem with this scenario is that it would be like that kid coming back over and over again, acting like he can still play. And after the whole debacle with 6 9 and that King Von jacket, you know what I'm the old jacket? This kid Perkyo was pretty much dead to little Dirk. He unfollowed him on Instagram mm. and really decided to never interact with him again. But that didn't stop this guy from continuing to take this persona way too far. All you politicians, stop using my name. I'm already Perkyo. I get money over here, the champion. You already know what's going on. I don't know what so you're talking lame. about. Get some money instead of hating on me, baby. Get my money, just son. See, to the haters, you. I'll go see Jordan. I love when people claim everyone who hates them is broke, when in reality you were the one impersonating another man for clout and a Section 8 That's salary. So nice. Where do you see yourself in two years? In two years? I see myself as a... As a billionaire. A billionaire? If I can make that happen talk that by shit. manifesting, I can be a billionaire in two years. Everything I talk, oh, I sorry. really know. In my note, everything that happened is happening now. You were the biggest cloud chaser of all. And those fake dreads you've been wearing for the last nine months look more dried up than the Sahara Desert. He even snuck on stage at this random music festival to make it look like he was performing, which is absolutely pathetic. Even this random group of women couldn't hold back their laughs. After he paid them all four Chuck E. Cheese tokens to make this video. It's like you're me. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, I can't take it. And for months now, he still sure, continues man? to act like him and Dirk are cool, wishing him a happy birthday, reminiscing on their one moment together, and even insinuating that Drake would take him on tour and work with him in the future with him making music like this. Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a true pack of ass. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. So basically, this impersonator had become a serious liability, and I'll promise you any sort of money he had coming in is over now. But apparently, he was not as much of a liability as the fake Drake, because fake Drake was out here entering boxing events using Drake's fame, claiming they had songs coming together. You know that, uh, that FaceTime that was, that, that, that was leaked? Uh, I did a FaceTime with him, and I confirmed that I got a, fe a song with him. Oh, that's, that's, that's fake. A, no, that's a real, that's a real video. It was like a pre-recorded thing of Drake, right? And when he did do that boxing match, he even brought out some sort of fake Snoop Dogg. Fake Drake, y'all. This is fake Snoop, y'all. Fake Snoop. We got fake Snoop. I mean, what the fuck is really going on out here, guys? You got grown men out here playing dress up. He's also grown men pretending to be other grown men apparently dating some sort of quote-unquote OnlyFans model who has more plastic in her body than the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, seriously, someone needs to find her surgeon and put him in prison for life. He reminds me of someone? Who? Drake. Okay. And that's oh, enough. Okay. You don't need Drake. You just need someone who reminds you of Drake. I think that aesthetic purposes, he looks good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I Great. like it. Even. So basically, this guy's entire life is a goddamn joke. And for those of you that are curious when it comes to the fight, this man looks like he trained by lifting Twinkies into his mouth. They had them fighting in a local meat pack and that, locker. And was, this has to be one of the least thinking. athletic looking events I've ever witnessed. I've never seen a boxing match where both people kept their shirt on like they were insecure at the pool. And of course, at the end of the day, he got his ass beat. They running. And I guess Drake has been watching all of this nonsense from afar for quite some time, sitting back in one of his castles drinking tea with Millie Bobby Brown. And he finally decided that it was time to no, stop the clown show once and for all. And so he sent him a cease and desist to basically Ooh. say, you better cut that shit out or I'm going to sue you for the $50 you made from that boxing match. And honestly, I don't blame Drake at all. I'm surprised he let this Teletubby looking motherfucker run around this long doing interviews and all this other corny shit. I mean, this guy even crazy. made a song about the cease and desist letter. Either way, it's becoming abundantly clear that these clowns 15 milliseconds of fame are over. And even both of the real artists have decided to basically force them to stop playing with their names. I already know what some of the comments are gonna say. And don't even begin to compare this to someone impersonating Michael Jackson or even Elvis. No. Because these guys are trying to launch their own adjacent careers off of these fake narratives, collabs, and videos. And they Whereas lying. these other guys, they might be out there in the street collecting a few dollars or even taking it to a more professional level that takes actual talent. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about I am utterly embarrassed. Imagine being a grown man and trying this hard to be another grown man. <laughs> that is so lame. Like, ain't no fucking way. Y'all look at yourself in the mirror every day like, yeah. I'm, I'm about to look just like Drake. Let, let me get this heart in, in my head. Let me let me get these fake dreads so I can look like Dirk. Like, y'all are so corny. Like, this is real life? I, I can't. I'm glad that Drake sent him that fucking letter. And then he made a whack-ass song based on it. Can you even do that? <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't. This is embarrassing. I hope they go away. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!